So the first uh, product we're looking at is um, from a range called Deep Cuts. All still from uh, WizKids, and you can see here it's Treasure Pile. Uh, now, the nice thing about these models are they're all primed, which is great. Uh, I've already opened this one and actually started print painting it. Um, this was a present from Bike and Harriet of the uh, Dungeon Crawler series for me, which is great. So I'm going to open it, have a look in. So what you get here is three Treasure Piles. Uh, you get a small, which is whoop, me dropping it, which is here. So yeah, you can see nice detail on the coins. As it's small, this is just going to be copper and silver. I might go do more copper on this actually. And some little sacks probably of coins in there. So there's that one. There you go, medium one. I haven't done much of this. A bit of silver, some coins, and it has some gold bars. It also has things like this, which is, you can see there, that there. That's going to be like a jewel of some kind. It's not just all coins, it's jewels. Bars or ingots. Uh, Sacks got that there. And we got the large one. So this is going to be a lot of gold on this one. See some gold bars here. There's jewels. It's even got a sword here. And these are lovely in detail. An axe and some ingots there. Chargers. Big plates to you and I. Uh, yeah, so I'm loving this. Another sword. These are brilliant. It'd be great to throw down for dungeon crawling games, D&D, &D, um, <clears throat> anything really. So we got those. Uh, next up, let's get some actual uh, models on the go, shall we? Uh, let's have a look. No, we've got another series of bits. So this is Deep Cuts again. Uh, this is a wizard room. Again, all primed. But what we've got here is we've got various different things that make up a wizard's room. So books, we have lots of books in wizard's room, gargoyle, uh, this is a crystal ball and if you look here it's got clear see-through plastic, skull, candle and then some jars here. Um, one thing I've got to show on the back of the treasure is that it does come with bits on the back to show you how it looks painted, which is cool. So on our books here you can see what's in there. So with some sort of inking you can make the bottles different colours have a go at. But yeah, sure. There's those. This is uh, brilliant. I'm um, going to enjoy these. I guess I'm going to use this more for D&D &D and various bits and pieces used in terrain projects, I should imagine, rather than anything else. Uh, sure you open it, have a look at the sun. Oh yeah, inside here there's a kind of cool map. I don't know what of. I don't know if it's just a generic fancy map, but there's a map. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get them all out because I'll probably end up losing them, but let's get a stack of books out for sure. So we, oh, it's got solid tape on. So another stack of books. So it even has the spines all uh um, sculpted in. You can see the pages in, in the books as well. They're going to be a joy to paint up. And I don't have to prime them. Uh, let's get the crystal ball out just so you can have a look at. Have a look at. Oh, look at that. So it is actually clear. That's amazing. I love that. That is stupendous. So. I'm not going to get them all out in case I lose them. They're quite small and fiddly, but we can have a little. That's like our jars there. Bottles. Uh, yeah, so, side by side of what's in there, and I kind of like this one. That one there. Where is that one? We don't know. Can't see him in there. Ah, uh, oh, it's that one there. So yeah, because it's got clear around it. So we got that. That's going to be good. And a cat. Just because... Hello, boy. You haven't been in a video for a while. Is that why you joined us? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Put those to one side. And now let's start looking at some miniatures. Now, this is from uh, Nozzle's uh, Marvelous Miniatures. 
Uh, I've opened this one already, uh, but this is a gelatinous tube. Now, tube, a cube, a gelatinous cube. Now, D&D uh, &D players, long-term D&D players, this is a uh, staple of D&D uh, &D monsters. It comes in as uh, little, little plastic. Comes on, comes up with base, which is nice. And the gelatinous cube is just that. It's a massive cube, living cube of jelly, gelatinous material uh, that consumes everything it eats. And what you got here is inside. And I've started painting these already, but they do come primed, and the cube itself is in clear. Uh, it consumes everything it goes over and basically dissolves it and eats it effectively. So this has lots of skeletons, lots of weapons and shields just in here. Um, <clears throat> you have a hole here. And the nice thing about this is if you don't glue this in to here, but you potentially glue this to the base, which I would do, uh, you can use this for when it eats a player, you could remove it from its base. And let's have a look. Let's get the off model now. You could then put it over the top and show that your player has been consumed by the cube, which is fantastic. And again, on the back it shows printing. It's slightly tinted with a colour, so I'm going to figure out how to do that so I can uh, tint it probably more greeny blue rather than this clear. So that is the cube. Next up. Zombies. These are from the same range from Noel's Old's Marvelous Miniatures. We have two zombies. Uh, looking like this. Like this, and this is what they look like. Painted up again, like all the others in this range, already uh, primed. So we can just get in there. And what I have noticed is the map on the back here seems to be different for each each model. We have to look that up, Womford, see what it is. It's Dungeon and Dragons. It's you know it's a licensed D and D product, so I'd imagine it's the Forgotten Realms. So these are not for you, Cap. These are not cat treats. <coughs> they come on to bases. Little thin little bases, which is cool. I don't like mega chunky bases. Uh, do you like the bases? Good, good. You can't eat the bases, they're not cat treats. Yeah, but we'll get you some cat treats after we've looked at these. Let's have a look at the first zombie. There he is, looking really emaciated, which is cool. Uh, he has some sort of mullet going on. Zombie mullet, quite like that. <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, it's a bit of flashing going on here, easily removed. Uh, not flashing, mold lines. You can see it there. Easily sorted. You can get that on all mod miniatures nowadays, don't you? But really like that. Let's have a look at the other chappy. He's, uh, I like this one. This looks like something from, I don't know, Return of the Living Dead or something. Yeah, really cool. Again, emaciated. Kind of does look rotten. He's good. I like him. He just has that face. He's going to be a joy to paint. So I've got those. Uh, there's just a few more to look at from this from this range. One more from this actual range. <coughs> and this is brilliant. Again, like the cube. You like that? This is another staple of D and D. This is the Beholder. So again, <laughs> Hobo likes it. Uh, just the sheer detail in that is so impressive. Now, if you looked at my 80s D&D &D miniatures, um, I had two beholders in there that are just tiny balls, about the size of a five, 10 pence piece in British money, you know, 15 mil across, and they were just a ball with some detail pulling, whereas this 
Looks like it's straight ripped out of the monster manual. Uh, let's have a look. Have a look at it, shall we? All right. I'll have a look. Feed the cat some treats. There we go. Gotta look after your co hosts. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the beholder. I oh, can't get in this one. Anyway. There we go. Oh, we've got a bag of something. Uh, yeah, so the map. Oh, map's the same as before on there. Background map. What we got? We got some. Oh, look at him. Like that. That is on a clear thing as much as possible. So, because they float. You look at the eye. The eye's got a nice lot of detail. Scales are good. Tentacles are good. It's good. And tentacles fall out, of course. That's interesting. That's what we got in here. There's a bag of. So I do have to do some gluing in that. Put that there. Many others loose. I had gluing. Yeah, that one looks feels like it's going to be glued in. That's interesting because spinning round. Get the full glory of the detail on this. So what we got in here then, which I'm slightly confused about. Are you confused about it, cat? Is a bag. That has the base. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. So it has the base. Ah, this is amazing. Because if you know your D&D lore, you know the uh, Ice Dogs cast spells. So what we got here is we've got alternatives that you can put in. So I don't know if I will glue them in. I don't know. We'll see. That just got all spell effects being cast. Those two sort of a fireball, lightning. A bit of lightning. I don't know what that is. Oh, ah, ah! I think I know what that is. Let's get a clear plastic, which we'll come back to. And another little fire one. So, where this has come out, this is number two. So we've got a little two. I move my finger. Got two there. And if you look in the hole, you can see two there. So if we can find stalk two on the spells, that's seven. There, and this looks like two. Yes, yeah, so this is two casting a spell. So you'd put that in there, and there he is casting the spell. That's really cool. Now, yeah, that little bit of lens, I think. Oh, yeah, it is as well. So, where you got his eyeball here? So you paint it up, the eyeball, and then you put that over the top. And he's got a lens rather than a great whacking great hole for an eye. That is spankingly good. So yeah, you'd put the eye over there. So when it's all painted, it would look like, you know, a glassy wet look eye. So that is stupendous. And that's how it would look on his base. So I don't know what I'm going to do for if I'm going to... Have a look at these and put some spells in there. That's number four. I think it'd look great casting spells. I don't know. Or do I keep. Or do I look into magnetizing them? There's a future project thing. So there's that. So that's what I'm going to do for now is put all the bits back in there, including the non spell tentacle, the lens. And the base. That one side. And the last two we're going to look at are from. Uh, are these? Are these still? These aren't Wiz Kids, actually. These are actually from Wizards of the Coast. Um, these are from their collector series. Uh, let's have a look at. Eulel Frith, Drow Priestess, I take it. Drow Priestess, yeah. And then these don't come base coated, but they're this is the coast, come slightly different packaging, all in the same scale and style though, as the WizKids ones. 
and they come slightly different. They come bubble wrapped. Here's a resin. Uh, so you've got her there's the back. And nicely detailed. Not much mold line going on. Lovely base there. Display base for it. There she is. Ariel Freff. I can suitably drow like. Got her. And the last one we are going to look at is this, which is uh, Ezat the Lich. I love a lich. It comes out on the back. Comes with, both of them come with a bit of a background on what, who they, who these characters are. But of course, you just use them as generic liches and drow priestesses. Base is obviously falling off. You stand, that's the back. Have a look at the base again. Nice detailed base. This one comes with these stack of books. Comes with a little dragon and a lich model itself. Fantastic little models. I like these. Here we have a a joy to paint. I think this. Uh, let's see what that thing is. Oh, I see the heads. The head on the little dragon is there. You can see it first. What's it's missing? That's just flashing. It goes there. That would come off. Yeah, brilliant. That's a quick look at some D and D models from uh, Wizards of the Coast and WizKids. Um, I can see myself buying a load more of these this year. These are fantastic. And if, well, if I need something from a game, I shall get go to these. And yeah, I've been whispered in my ear because these are all a gift for Christmas. They are very reasonably priced as well, which is good. After you know, you spend a fortune on certain product companies' products. It's nice to have quality miniatures at a reasonable price. So I've seen some dragons. I've got my eye on, so I'm probably going to look at those next at some point. But anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Nice little look at some miniatures. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've liked it and haven't already. Uh, hit the like button subscribe for more videos that come in soon and until next time take care